You've probably heard about Shaka Zulu, the greatest African commander. He was born around 1787 and died in 1828. Here is what you should know about him. 1. Shaka is the son of the Zulu chieftain Senzangahona Kahama and Nandi, his third wife, a Langeni princess. When Shaka was six, his parents separated and he had to grow up without a father, in the Langeni tribe where he and his mother were despised, and some accounts say that Shaka was harshly bullied. In 1802, they were driven out of the clan and found shelter in the powerful Mthethwa Paramountsi. 2. When Shaka was 23 years old, he was called for military service. He then served for six years as a warrior of the Mthethwa Paramountsi, where he displayed his brilliance and his courage. 3. Because of his talents for warfare, Shaka rapidly rose through the ranks and became one of the foremost commanders of the Mthethwa army. He was given the name Nadu Malezi, which means, the one who, when seated, causes the earth to rumble. 4. Senzangahona, Shaka's father, died in 1816. Shaka's younger half-brother succeeded him for a short time, until Shaka and a Mthethwa regiment, sent to take over the Zulu, put him to death. So in 1816, Shaka became chief of the Zulu clan, at 29 years old. 5. At that time, the Zulu was one of the smallest and weakest clans. Shaka's ruthless rule is what started their ascent to greatness. 6. His first act was to reorganize the army, changing the usual throwing spears for close combat weapons. He also developed the bullhorn formation and turned the usually brief and relatively bloodless battles into extermination battles and incorporated the remnants of the defeated clans into the Zulu. He started with the Langeni clan, where he sought out his former bullies, and impaled them. He continued to decimate the small clans around him and one year later, the Zulu had quadrupled in number. 7. The Zulu remained a vassal of the Mthethwa Paramountsi until the Mthethwa leader was assassinated in 1817, creating a power vacuum that Shaka was able to fill. 8. Within two years, Shaka had bested the two clans powerful enough to challenge him. In 1818, he won the Battle of Jikyakli Hill, against the Ndwendwe, where his 5,000 men defeated the 12,000 enemy soldiers. In 1820, he won the Battle of Malachu's River, where he defeated the Kwabe attacking him. Shaka's military campaigns during the 1820s resulted in the Mfekeng, a period of violent clan warfare and displacement that led to the loss of 2 million lives. 9. Following his mother Nandi's death in 1827, Shaka descended into a state of psychosis. He ordered that for a year no crops be planted, pregnant women be slain with their husbands, and thousands of milk cows be killed so they wouldn't know the pain of losing their mother. This resulted in the deaths of approximately 7,000 Zulus. 10. Shaka was killed by three assassins in 1828. His killers included two of his half-brothers, who were on their third assassination attempt on Shaka. This was the life of Shaka Zulu, who is remembered as a legendary figure in African history, and the Zulu people continue to celebrate Shaka's life and legacy, and his story remains a source of inspiration for many people around the world. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.